Welcome back, America. We're here with Katie Britt, brand new senator from Alabama, but she's already made a big mark for herself. Uh, senator, you were recently in Israel, uh, actually a week or two ago, and you came back. You were very emotional about what you saw there. Uh, can you tell us what you saw and what your experience was? Mark, what we saw there uh, was beyond comprehension. It was absolute pure evil. Not only did we meet with the families of the hostages who told us their story, and as I listened to that, I listened as a, as a mom, as a wife, as a daughter, as a sister, and the unimaginable things they're going through. We also met with the Israeli government, and we got to see the video of the massacre that occurred on October 7th. And it is imperative we continue to tell that story because these terrorists actually videoed this. They had gro GoPro cameras on their heads. So we watched as they slaughtered individuals, as they made parents watch their children get shot and children watch their parents be burned to death. It is absolutely disgusting and despicable. And Mark, I am of the belief that uh, all religions can live together in peace and prosperity, but good cannot coexist with evil. And when you see evil rear its head, which is exactly what we saw happen on October 7th, we must look it in the eyes and we must take it down. So you come back to the United States and you see people taken to the streets on college campuses supporting Hamas. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you see people talking about how Israel is responsible for this. What do you say to those people? That is, um, it's once again unimaginable that people would be responding like this. One of the things about our nation that I believe to be true is that we should be able to call evil, evil. And the fact that we have those among us that are not able to do that is beyond comprehension. Look, obviously, everybody believes in free speech, but what I do not believe in is hate. And the Hamas is standing what they stand for. They want to wipe Israel off the face of this planet. They want to wipe the Jewish people off the face of this planet. And there is absolutely um, no way that anyone should be able to defend any of their actions. And what people need to realize is Hamas is also the enemy of those people in Gaza. They are holding every one. Um, they're for ransom. They're using people as human shields. They are cowards. And we as people here in the United States, me as a Christian, I believe we have to stand firmly with Israel, firmly with the Jewish people, and firmly against the hate. And the reports out there that Hamas is now shooting at people who are trying to leave. Egypt is blocking the passageway because they don't want any Palestinians coming into their border and into their country. There's not a single Arab country that has offered to accept a single Palestinian. Uh, and you see in Turkey, they're harboring Hamas leaders. In Qatar, they're harboring Hamas leaders. Qatar is paying money, lots of money, mm -hmm. to, uh, to, the, uh, to, the, to the Hamas terrorists. And the Biden administration doesn't seem to be doing a hell of a lot about this, does it? No, uh, you are spot on. First off, we need to go back to a strategy of maximum pressure. Uh, we need bone crushing sanctions on Iran. We know where this money is flowing from. It's flowing from the Iranian regime. So what we have to do is cut off and dry up any financial resources that they may have because Iran is not only funding but training Hamas there in Gaza, training Hezbollah in Lebanon and the Houthis there in Yemen. We need a administration that is willing to do that. Easing off on these sanctions has resulted in the Iranian regime having over $80 billion in new oil and gas money. We have to make sure um, that we are actually showing peace through strength, which to me starts with freezing the $6 billion um, that, that we have seen talked about over these last few weeks. And I don't mean with a handshake agreement. I mean a real guarantee that that money is not moving, reinforce sanctions, and then we are going to have to start really holding people accountable. We not only need deterrence in the region, but when our air bases are struck, we have to respond with defensive strikes. And to all the people out there that we're seeing across this nation and now the globe that are buying into the media narrative that there needs to be an immediate ceasefire, let me say to you this, the innocent, men and women 
that are there in Israel have to tuck their children in every night. There have been a lot of people who have said that, oh, this is similar to 9-11 or this is similar to Pearl Harbor. What I say to that is when we woke up the next day after both of those events, we were able to tell our children that the enemy was oceans away. These men and women woke up the next day and the enemy was less than five miles away. We have to make sure that we eradicate Hamas. Anything less is unacceptable. Uh, and, and so I think we stand firmly with Israel. We stand shoulder to shoulder with them. And we make sure that we eradicate evil, which starts by with taking out Hamas. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.